Good morning and welcome to Oklahoma. We are slowly making our way uh, west and this is the Welcome Center on I-40 as you leave Arkansas and come into Oklahoma. Welcome to Tigner Adventures. We are, yep, in Oklahoma, making our way uh, west here. Um, and today we're actually going to uh, go north for a little ways uh, because we have a little special treat planned for tomorrow. And uh, so today we're working from I-40. We'll go down I-40 a little bit, but then we're gonna go up through Tulsa and go north. And uh, if any of you guys know what we're doing tomorrow, <clears throat> you'll know where we're going. But if not, then, um, stay tuned in the video <clears throat> sorry um, and we will be showing you some uh, something uh, different so anyway we are uh, excited to uh, be making our way uh, west uh, yesterday it was 90 degrees here in the um, rest stop that we're staying at this is the welcome center for Oklahoma and we have not gone inside yet we've just stayed out here but if you look around this um, the actual rest stop uh, there's uh, lots of parking for cars and they have a whole section dedicated to RVs and uh, you know pickups pulling trailers whatever uh, this is just our little section and then over on the far right they have all the trucks so you're not parked right next to a truck that's running their uh, motor all night um, so that's kind of nice and then at the end of the park before you leave they have uh, dump stations here so you know, pretty nice little setup, uh, and also it says that uh, you're more than welcome to stay uh, the night here. So they don't uh, they don't care, and they encourage uh, people just based on this thing. Now, if you noticed here, we only had one other RVer that stayed last night, and that's because probably because school started now, and uh, there's just not that many actual RVs on the road right now. Uh, this whole summer seems to have been pretty light. Uh, so, but anyway, we're going to uh, go into the visitor center, uh, collect some stuff for to uh, tomorrow's event, and then um, we'll, you know, be able to uh, know what we're doing and how that's going to actually work out. So the ultimate goal here is that we are headed to um, our friend's place. They actually live in Waynoka. There are so many little name towns here in Oklahoma, um, and so we're going to go there, and uh, we're going to spend a week or two there, depending on. Hopefully uh, we can work out the heat because it's still hot for a while. Uh, we'll pretty much be in the heat until we get up into, um, at least into northern New Mexico. And uh, from here we'll be going through Texas, Panhandle, that's still not north enough I don't think. And then we'll be going into um, New Mexico and working our way up to, the ultimate spot would be Flagstaff, um, Arizona. So we'll be up at a really high elevation and uh, so it'll be a lot cooler then. So by the time we get there, it might be snowing, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this trip this summer has been, we've had it all messed up because we've been in nothing but heat. So we are not following the 70 degree weather, which we should be following. We're following the 90 and 100 degree weather and we are completely screwed up. So anyway, let's go and check out uh, this thing and then we're gonna get on the road and, uh, and then we'll, the next portion of this video will be our surprise. So come along. All right, we are in Pasca Pa, Pasca, uh, Oklahoma. So if you uh, know anything, which we didn't, because we had no idea that this was was here, but uh, this is actually the home of Pioneer Woman. Now, if you don't watch cooking Pioneer show. Woman, uh, it's a cooking show that's on TV. Uh, she's been on for oh at least ten years, maybe twelve years now. Um, this is actually video is actually dedicated to my brother. <laughs> my brother is Richard. So hi Richard hi. Hope you're having fun <laughs> and um, anyway, he is a big fan of uh, uh, The uh, pioneer woman cooking show and so we just happened to be coming through and this was the direction We were coming we really didn't even know this was here and we just kind of you know 
found it by mistake. So anyway, um, we wanted to say, you know, kind of check it out and everything. So we're going to go inside. We're going to look at to see what this is all about. We have watched the TV show quite a few times when we're visiting uh, him. Yeah. And all our family from time to time watches this cooking show. Ninette is a big fan of uh, cooking shows. She <laughs> She does all kinds of miraculous things that she not, she loves. Not as good as they do. <laughs> well, yeah, not as good as they do, but but darn close, darn yeah. close. You know, I think her favorite is chopped, actually. Yeah, so, chopped is pretty so chopped is where they just give you a, a thing of food and Weird you have stuff. to figure out what to make with it, and that's an everyday occurrence when you live in an <laughs> RV. <laughs> so so that's why she really loves that show. But uh, Pioneer Woman, the the thing that's really cool about that show is it's not just a cooking only show it's, it's about the it's, whole ranch it's about the whole ranch or whole family mm -hmm. um he says he's watched the kids grow up from just little kids all the way up they're in college now some of them so and the kids um, actually do a lot of the filming yeah and they actually participate in the show and you know her husband's on there and things so it's a pretty good little uh, deal it's it's pretty fun to watch and we have enjoyed it so we're gonna go check out what's behind us right now is the mercantile so we're gonna look at that, and then and there's a couple other. Yeah, that's a restaurant and, and a, coffee, a couple things. Bakery up on the top. Yeah, so we're gonna go check that out and see what it's like, and then I think there's a couple of places that are other places around town. So we're gonna look into that too. So let's go check it out. All right, we are in the Mercantile, and that's the restaurant there to the left, and then this is the uh, shops. And this is kind of a breakdown right here. Got the Mercantire, the boarding house, the, what's the PW? Event Center, Town Pizza, and the Sweet Shop. Sweet shop. Oh, all kinds of good stuff, if this is what you're into. There are all kinds of cool things to put in your house decorate with advantage living in an RV we don't have a lot of space so it's easy to say no look there's some soap it's, mm. it's lavender. yeah smells oh. good no. I can smell it from here <laughs> so all kinds of uh, t-shirts and hats and so if you're a fan, you know, but it's the Drummond Ranch. So here's a hat with Drummond Ranch on it. That's their last names. Oh, you found a nice cowboy hat. Whoa. It doesn't have a hole in it like your other one. Yours had the hole. Mine's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> if it didn't look like the one I already have, it's yeah. very cute. Very cute. <laughs> All right, this is what's important. Up. The PW Coffee and Bakery is upstairs. Okay, so <laughs> PW stands for Pioneer Woman. If you didn't catch that, because I was just kind of reading the sign, but this is the bakery. We're gonna check out the, what there is. Get some goodies. Hmm. Wow. These all look way too good. And this is where the magic happens for the bakery. Cooking everything up. So this is what we're getting today. We got a, okay, apple croissant, and then we got a coconut brioche. And of course a black coffee. So we are eating at the Mercantile. This is the uh, bakery Pioneer, shop. Pioneer Women. Pioneer Women Bakery mm -hmm. Shop. Basically everything is here. There is a pizza place across the road and then a um, sweet candy store with um, ice cream and things that's across the street. So basically everything's just right here in this one little block it's area. Little tiny town. Yeah. <laughs> There's other things they said that around town that if you look at them they re they um, reference Pioneer Woman, but none of that stuff belongs to her. So uh, this is just uh, this part here is all that's part of the actual Pioneer Woman. Now, unfortunately, and it seems to be our luck right now, but 
<laughs> there are only tickets available for this week or Friday. This is Tuesday. She's filming. And that's because so. she's filming right now. So whenever they're filming, they film and you can't get tickets to go out to the ranch. But when they're not filming, then they give out free tickets to the ranch, which the actual place where they film is their guest house. And so if they have guests come and stay and everything, that's where they stay. So the bedrooms and everything, it looks like their house, but that's not actually where they live. That's where they do all their filming and their guest stay and things like that. So you get free tickets to it. The tickets tell you how to actually get to the ranch. Uh, they don't give you any instructions unless you have the tickets. So it's not like we can go out today and try to uh, videotape you know, while you know, at least the ranch and stuff, even though they're busy. You're going to have um, to bribe one of these ladies. <laughs> something, but uh, anyway, so you, um, anyway, the free tickets uh, get you to, it's a self-guided tour around the whole studio, ranch house, uh, bedrooms, everything, so you get to go back into everything, so, so that's kind of, it's pretty cool, I mean, it's nice that they have this all open this way, uh, they're basically saying that uh, Pioneer Woman uh, made the uh, red dot for um, pa, what was the name of this place? Pa, <laughs> pa, 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 Waski. Pa, Waski. Uh, something like that. <laughs> it shined up the little red dot here, so nothing was really here. Yeah. I mean, there's things here, of course, but how would you feel to be the person uh, to now put your, comes put and your here, little town yeah. on the map? Yep. Okay, this is a uh, truck they just have outside of the mercantile here. Cool looking truck. All right, so we are moving on and. Um, they have a boarding house here that you can stay at. You know, they have, uh, we're, we're heading out now, we're trying to find this. Uh, There's a pizza. Pizza place and also a. There's Charlie's right there. Uh, Charlie's, which is a. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, candy store with ice cream. Nina is window shopping and she found something she wants. And look, right here, this says it all. Your husband called, said buy anything you want. memory of Charlie, the ultimate sweetheart. All right, we're doing nothing but eating today. So we are at the ice cream shop. Well, you know, of course, all the sweets. The pizza place is upstairs and uh, there's some ladies over here that said it's really, really good pizza. But uh, we can only eat so much. And right now, let's check out the ice cream. Got the butter pecan ice cream. So we're getting a little full. <laughs> lots, lots of food. I told him I get pizza if you get this. <laughs> oh wow! We found the pizza place. So P Town wood fired pizzas right up there. Okay, we are going upstairs to the pizza place, which up, is up above Charlie's. Are you guys wanting? Wow, these are pretty cool. They look like a paper plate, but they're actually a plate. Wow. What do they think of next? <laughs> we got our pizza. So, looks pretty good. Yeah, what was this? What kind is it? It's a veggie with pepperoni added. Veggie with pepperoni. Okay, we're gonna check it out. Looks good though. Oh, that was good pizza. That was a lot of food, but hey, we did it right. We went to the bakery first, then we went to the <laughs> ice cream, <laughs> then we went to pizza for lunch. I mean, kind of a, that's the best day ever. Yeah. That's how we're supposed to go out because we usually we have our big meal goodies. and then we don't get dessert. Mm -hmm. So we had two goodies. So, and anyway, well, hey, Richard, wish you were here with us. It's been a lot of fun, um, and uh, you, you know, can. Anybody, if you can, this is a pretty cool place to come. They've got it set up pretty nice and everything, and it's a fun little adventure. Um, you may want to call ahead to at least the mercantile, and they can tell you, you know, if they're uh, filming on a specific day or whatever, because, you know, we met some friends uh, that uh, drove over here from uh, Missouri, 
uh, to drove four hours and then got here and found out that mm -hmm. they're filming today and they can't go out to the ranch. So if you call ahead, they can tell you what the schedule is. Like this week, Friday is the only open day that you can actually get a tour of the ranch. So, But in our case, we're just passing through, so that's how it works. And so we're just going to say our goodbyes now and uh, move on to our uh, friend's uh, place in uh, Oklahoma here. We're going to stay out here for a couple weeks just visiting and having some fun, doing some other things. So anyway... Anything to it add? It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Pretty she, cool. She sure has made um, a mark for herself in this town. Yep. Yeah, the whole family. <clears throat> yep. So that's that's pretty cool. That's yep. really pretty cool, actually. Yep. So because it's a small town. So anyway, thanks for following us. <laughs> uh, we'll see you down the road, and if uh, not, then we'll see you on our next video. So take yeah. care. Bye. <laughs>